Sometimes in my tech class at school, I have students that are learning how to type without looking. Sometimes it's called keyboarding, sometimes it's called touch typing, but for the little ones, I just say you're learning how to type without looking. It's kind of hard for them to get the, the knack of getting their hands in the right position. So there's a little trick that we learn. Now, if you were to take a look at your keyboard, there's going to be two keys there. One key is the J key. The other key is the F key. Now, each of these has a small bump on the, uh, on the key itself. And I teach my students to try to find that key with their fingers, and that helps for them to get to the right position. Those two keys are called the home keys. And then you would put the rest of your fingers for the J, that would be your right hand. The next letter would be on the K, the L, and the semicolon. For your left hand, you find the letter F with the bump. Then the next finger goes to the D, the next on the S, the next on the A. Sometimes it's hard for the students to be able to get their hands on the home row that quickly. So I'm going to take you through how we do it. Okay, so what I do is I will tell my students, first find the F and the J. Those are your home keys. The F is right here, the J is right here. They both have a bump. Your pointer finger goes on the J. Then the other fingers of your right hand go on the K, the L, and then the semicolon. Your left hand, the pointer finger goes to the F. The other fingers go to the D, the S, and the A. And I've even found that first graders can do this. This is the home position. It's also called the home row. Your thumbs are supposed to be resting on this space bar right here. And this is the, the position that I would have for any letter that I want to hit on either hand. I'm always coming back to my home row and my home position. Now let's practice. First, let's take a look at the keys and put our hands on the keyboard while we're looking at the keys themselves. Very easy, right? Now, we're going to try taking our hands away, put it behind our back, and instead of looking at the keys, I'm going to look up at the ceiling. While I'm looking at the ceiling, I'm going to try to find those two bumps and get myself back into home position. Let's see how long it takes me. Ready? And let's try. Okay. Now that may have taken maybe a count of 10, maybe longer, I'm not sure. But it wouldn't be unusual after some practice to be able to get it almost immediately. It may take longer at the beginning, but just keep trying. This is the trick that you have to learn to be able to, look, to, be able to type without looking. That didn't even take a second. I'll bet you'll be able to go just as fast after practice. Try to do this like five times a day. You'll get it. 